Okay, this is a quick video on how to set up your Hold'em Manager to HUD. Okay, so this is the screen right here that you'll, after you enter in your license key code, then it brings you right here. So under Home, we click on HUD Settings. And what I'll do with this video is I'll show you really quickly how to set it up. And then if you want, what I'll do is I'll show you how to uh, how I've set up my HUD and then after uh, that if you want to keep watching then I will show you what each one of these means and why I have it there okay so if you're just looking for a real quick you came from poker tracker 4 and you just want to know how to set this up I'll show you real quick and if you want to get a little bit more detailed then just keep watching if not then you've got it okay so basically this is what is going to happen when you click on the HUD settings, this comes up your HUD designer. So right over here, HUD designer. Name, total hands, a new line, and then these right down here. And so this is this shows you what your HUD is going to look like. So as we add lines here, it'll grow and it'll give you an idea of what it's going to look like, the colors and everything. Okay, so the first one we want is name. Um, you want to make sure that these stats correspond with the player that it's underneath. Sometimes it moves around a little bit and you want to make sure that's right. So you have name, then you got total hands, okay? And I want to add one that I don't see that's already here from over here. But if we click on each one of these, like all the stats for pre-flop raise, PFR here, we open this up and it's just a huge amount, right? Well, I already know what the codes are, so I'm going to search for it and type it in. So I click down here, search stats, and I type in big blinds. Big, and it already auto-completes big blinds. Now I highlight this one, and I click this arrow left over here to add stat. And what that'll do is it'll add it underneath the highlighted one over here. If it was highlighted here, big blinds would go in underneath this. If it's highlighted here, it'll go underneath total hands. So I click the left arrow here, says add stat, put it in, and boom, it goes right underneath there. Now I want to add another one that's not, oh, actually it is on the list here. The next one that I'm going to add is total VPIP. And so what I do is I highlight it over here, it's already there. And then if I want to move it up, I just keep moving it up. If I want to move it down, then I move it down. But where I want this stat is right after big blinds. So it's name, total hands, big blinds, total VPIP. And the one after that, you guessed it, total PFR. Now we have a new line. And after this, we go down here to the next one. And the one I want for that is total 3-bit, ah, which is right here. And I'm going to move that up. This one, I don't keep track of this stat. But that's basically how this works. Okay, so total 3-bet here. And then the next one I want is going to be total uh, total fold to 3-bet. So total fold to 3-bet. So highlight it. It's going to go underneath the highlighted one. Bam, and it's in there. Okay, so that's how we add these in. What I'll do is I'll pause the video now and I'll add in all of mine. And if you wanna copy mine exactly, you can do that. And after that, then I'll analyze each one of these. Okay, and this is my total HUD. Okay, so we've got three lines here. This is what it's gonna look like and um, we've got name, total hands, big blinds, total VPIP, total PFR, and then a new line. And then I plug these ones in right here. You can pause the video and copy them exactly if you want. And then I created a new line by clicking right here, new line. So if I click this, boom, it's going to create another line below here. And then the next stats we put in will become a fourth line. But we don't want that, so we'll remove it by clicking this arrow there. Okay, this is the second half down here. Um, and what I will do is I will color code these so that I group them kind of into groups. So like the total three bed and total fold to three bed will be one color. And then the steel colors will be another one. I like the steel colors to be 
blue because steel reminds me of blue because of the metal steel. Anyways, that's what works for me. Then the flop ones, uh, these will be one color and this will be another color. Okay, and like that. And that's basically my HUD right there. So, what each of these mean? Okay, name, that's the name of the player. This is the total hands that you've tracked on them. This is how many big blinds they have. So if it's a short stack with five bigs or a big stack with, uh, you know, 100. Total VPIP, so this number right here. Total VPIP, how often they voluntarily put money into the pot. How often are they calling or raising or somehow contributing, completing a small blind into the pot. Um, right here, the next one is total PFR. That is total pre-flop raise. So when they come into the pot, they're either raising or re-raising. So this number is going to be higher than this number uh, because this number also counts as this one. So if a player is a 25-18, they're probably a fairly decent player. They come into the pot 25% of the time and they're raising 18%, okay? Um, the next one down here, new line, total three bet. How often are they putting in a raise? So when the pot has been raised and then they re-raise, how often is that happening? Pre-flop. Okay. Uh, total fold to three bet. So let's say they raise and then you three bet them. How often are they folding there? Total fold to three bet. Okay. Um, so if this number is like 40%, it's probably a pretty solid player. If the number is like 80%, it's a recreational player that's only raising with good cards. Well, not only, but almost always only. Uh, total steal. This is how often they're raising from the button, cutoff, and the hijack. How often are they trying to steal? Small blind fold to steal. So this is when they are um, in the small blind. How often are they folding to a raise from one of the stealing positions? And the big blind, same thing. Okay, now this one's an interesting stat to have. And this one is only really um, relevant if you have a lot of hands on a guy or you just happen to have a lot of hands on a guy maybe at the end of a tournament or something where you're in the small blind and he's in the big blind. Okay, so when you're just one to his right. This is fold to big blind versus steal. Fold big blind versus steal from small blind hero. So that's an interesting one to have, and you can really abuse it if, uh, if you get a fair amount of hands on a guy. You basically just raise a lot. <laughs> um, or not, depending if uh, he's always... Uh, always calling you, then maybe you're limping more. Uh, okay, then the new line down here is flop seabed. Uh, how often is a player raising, and then uh, let's say you call, and then when the flop comes out, he's seabedding it. Uh, turn seabed. So he raises, then he bets the flop, and then he bets the turn. So if this number here, flop seabed, is like 80%, 80% of the time he is c-betting the flop, and then this one is like 30%. Then you have a player that is very often bluffing on the flop, and by the turn, if he's got it, he's betting. If not, he's checking. Okay, so you can really take advantage of that. Uh, so that's what these two are. And the way you could take advantage of that would be you call him more on flops, and then when he checks the turn, you bet. Okay, so that's those two. Now this is a flop fold to see bet and turn fold to see bet. So if let's say you raise and a player calls and now you see bet the flop, if he's folding to that, you know, more than 50% of the time, then he's folding way too often and you just see bet every flop. Okay, but if he's calling 80% of the time, uh, then he's floating you a lot and he's seeing if you're honest on the turn. Maybe he has these numbers on you, right? Turn fold to see bet. So do a lot of players float the flop and then fold on the turn? If this is really high on the uh, turn, then um, uh, if he gets to the river, then he's got it. Uh, early position raise first in. So are they raising in those first three positions a lot? Middle position raise first in. How often are they raising in middle position? 
These two are good because if we go up to the top here where we have a total VPIP and a total PFR, well, we know, let's say they're a 2518, but maybe their early position raise first in is, um, I don't know, let's say 15% and middle position is something like 30. That would be more of a balanced player. Let's say this was 30% and this one was 15. So he's raising a lot in early position, but in middle position, he's raising tighter. That would be interesting. That would mean that he's bluffing a lot in early position and he's more likely got it in middle position. And that's unbalanced and you can really take advantage of that. That's a weak player. Okay, total re-steal, a three bet versus a steal. So this would be if they are in the blinds and someone raises from one of the steal positions, from one of the late positions, this would be how often they're three betting from, from the blinds. Okay, so that's how I have my HUD set up. Uh, if you guys want me to do another video and walk you through how to set up all the colors and everything, just hit me up, uh, heads up poker podcast at gmail.com. Leave a comment here on the website, and I'd love to do it. Hope you enjoyed that, and uh, have fun playing. Good luck.